Hey, we're live. We're live. Hello, hello, everybody. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 so, hi, welcome uh, to my channel. Uh, I'm Paula. How do? Mute that. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, and this is a book club. <laughs> <laughs> and you are. I'm Jen. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Well, it, it, we say it's a book club. I think it's more of a, a chat and then us just going insane while, while, we're, while we're filming it. So, Whatever works. Yes. Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm not I'm not drunk enough fluid yet. So. That's all right. That's all right. You got to stay hydrated. Got to stay hydrated. So. Hydrate, ice straight, medicate. <laughs> all the Daleks. Right. <laughs> Exterminate. Hi, cool gamer. Hi, hey, cool doing? gamer. Uh, so you we have read, read this book? a book. Yes, we have read a book. Ta da! Because it's a book uh, club. It's a book club. That's what we, so, we read books. <laughs> so hopefully, we're going to talk about it before we descend into madness. Oh, it's too late um, for that. Well, mm, I brought yeah, the madness of. with me. Shh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm telling the voices to shut up. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, The Ivory Key by... Akshaya uh, Raman. I, I was going to say by an author I can't pronounce, so thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not saying it right, but I'm giving it the old college try. And... The American cover is so much nicer than the UK cover. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can show you mine. If I listen to it on audio, so that's the UK cover. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Now like show that yours. Now show yours. See, mine's much better. So much nicer. Yeah, so yours makes it look so like a romance or something. Yeah. And it's just it's it's two sisters scowling at each other, but it doesn't. It's let me bring it close. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like so it. I, I like that cover. I like the American cover so much nicer. But that's yep. really weird because normally the American, yeah. the English covers are all normally better yeah, than the, the American UK covers are usually better. <sighs> but not in this case. Nope. Oh well. And it's basically a story about. Four siblings, and they need to get a mystical artifact to bring magic back to their land because magic's used as a resource for them. That's the basic gist. Yeah. Um, and with and all they that, all hate each other. And they all hate each other. Um, <laughs> when we say family drama, we mean family drama. Um, <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it that I can say on it before jumping into spoilers. So unless Jen's got anything to say, then we're um, going to jump into spoilers. I mean, we might as well get into the spoilers. Well, let's do it. So if you've not spoiler, read the book... Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Yep. Oh, my earphone cables trapped around the drawer of the chair. God damn it. Sorry if that was ridiculously loud. Anyway. So, spoilers incoming. If you haven't read the book and want to, um, leave now. now if you time. if you haven't read the book and you just want to watch the chaos, stick around. We'll be here for at least an hour. <laughs> so, who out of the four siblings, who was your favorite? The only one I actually liked was Caleb. The rest of them all sucked. <laughs> the, rest of them all sucked. the only one that I liked was Caleb because he was the only one that hadn't like done everybody wrong. Like he didn't mm -hmm. was the only one that didn't do anybody dirty. He just like his life sucked because everybody did him dirty. Uh, and Caleb's the one that was in prison, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I wrote I wrote notes to keep him straight because at the beginning I couldn't keep them all straight. Yeah, I was like, who, what, why? Uh, basically, my note is uh, Vera stayed to rule, mm -hmm. Rhea ran away and is now a raven, Caleb is locked up, and 
Ronak is doing shady things, shady right. trades with ma- raw magic. Right. So, <laughs> and that's probably yeah, about the right. extent of my notes on this book. Speaking I didn't take many of notes. raw magic, I want to mm. throw this out there. That, aside from all of the problems that this book had, that was super cool. Mm-hmm. The idea of magic as a physical resource, yes. especially one that's practically radioactive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really cool. And what's what's pissed me off about it, uh, I haven't actually put my rating up about the book yet, but um, it just didn't do enough with that. I mean, I'm hoping, because it is a duology, uh, I think the second book is out now. Is it? I don't know. Don't quote me. But Jen is uh, Jen is in research mode, so she's going to check. <laughs> Um, yes. Uh, it comes out August first. August. Damn. Yeah. I thought it was already. I thought it was already out. But... Mm-hmm. No, August first. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be bothered to read the second one. To be honest. Um, I don't know. It's it's one of them. If it was if it was closer to when I actually when I first read it, like you know, if it was April, maybe. Yeah. March, Feb- March, February time would be even better because we read this for December. Um, technically, I finished it in January, but still. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, wait in August because if it's a if it's a series or a sequel or whatever, I like to reread the uh, the initial books to get me back into that world and into that. Yeah. Frame and with this one, this the the beginning part of the book really dragged for me. It w- wasn't yes. until um, they were actually off on the quest where I felt like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yes, I felt exactly the same way about it. The okay. first part of the book, I was just like, are we going to get to a point at any point? Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, it, it wasn't it just until felt... they when they finally started working together on the map. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. And to be fair, even when they were, uh, if you if you read the book, you know that the um, the Vera stayed and become like the the monarch of the realm or what that kind of thing is. A little sister ran away and is now part of a group that opposes her sister and the rule and everything. Uh, and the two brothers. Caleb got locked up on su- on the suspicion of murdering their mum, uh, even though <laughs> even though it doesn't the, the council that like you know said to Vera kind of like you know lock up your brother because you know he's he's murdered your mum. They actually know that he didn't, and it was the guy that ended up murdering her betrothed at the very beginning apparently he was the guy that you know killed their mum so I'm like so you've just locked up a brother for no freaking reason yeah basically yeah I'm like what that makes that makes no sense to me because there is no like political intrigue on that side, talked about in the book at all. It's it's just like yeah, Vera's ruling, but yeah, they told her to lock it to lock. Up, they told me to lock up my brother, so that's what I did. And it's like, hang on, who told you? Yeah, you're the one that's supposed to be, you know. Yeah, you're the one that's supposed to be in charge. So act like yeah. you're in charge. But she she. Mm-hmm. She spent the whole book treating the council like they were going to beat her or something if she didn't do what they told her to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, that's not how, I don't know. That's not how the genre is supposed to work. Mm -mm. And to be fair, it's, it's because there wasn't that much backstory with the council or political political intrigue set up around that mm-hmm. it felt like a tacked on piece just to yeah you know cuz when they all started working together there seemed to be 
no bad blood or testiness or sarkiness or anything between any of them. And I'm like, mm-hmm. hang on a minute. Yeah. This bitch has had you locked up for years. And yet you're just like, oh, yeah, fine. Cool, sis. Let's go. Do, 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 do. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. That, that's just not. I mean, the. I think the only, like, you know, testy, bad blood bit was, like, the sassiness between Vera and Raya. Like, you know, well, how can you be a raven? They're, they're like, trying to oppose me. And, uh, and then after that was said, nothing. Yeah. I was like, seriously? It's like, do you not know how family works? Normally, it don't work like that. If you do, no. <laughs> if you, if you piss off a family member, especially a sibling, they're going to hold that grudge. Oh, absolutely. And especially, you've locked up your brother. Yeah. I'm like, mm. yeah. That, but they just, just they just randomly were just like, yeah, okay, let's just work together. No. It just it ra- it didn't ring true to me at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the, the fact that they were on a- a, a, an only child. It feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, siblings. They just forgive each other instantaneously. It's like, yeah. mm, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. Mm-mm. Sorry. No. Uh, I mean, it'd be nice, but no. <laughs> Think yeah. sibling, siblings hold grudges the longest. I mean, I don't, my mum and my uncle have not spoken for near enough 20, 30 years now. It's yeah, been almost so, a decade like, since I've talked to my brother. Yeah. <laughs> we can yep. hold grudges. Yep. Yeah. Um, when me and my brother got in a fight, I ended up leaving home at 16 and, you know, going out on my own because I could not live in the same house as my brother, you know. So, yeah, siblings don't just yeah. get over that shit. Mm-hmm. And especially not... Especially not the depth of some of the shit that they did to one another. Mm-hmm. You know? Definitely. You know, I'm sorry, but she locked up Caleb knowing full well that he didn't do what she was saying he did. Mm-hmm. Knowing full well that he didn't kill their mother and she locked him up anyway. Uh-uh. That's not forgivable. No. I mean, you'd think you'd want your actual mother's murderer to be you know, locked up for the for killing your mother. Yeah. You won't want to just like, oh yeah, well I'll just lock up my brother because that's what people are telling me to do. Yeah. No. No. It's like you you go find the actual person that killed your mother. <sighs> and then towards the end of the book, you know, with the whole um well this is what magic's really like and really for and yeah. and then the the betrayal of um, yeah. what's his face? I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it. And normally, I can I can pick that shit out of the hat. But I think too many things in this book kind of didn't gel correctly, so I couldn't really follow that kind of thing of like, oh, he's going to be shady. It felt this like... very definitely a debut novel. Yes. Yeah. It was absolutely a first novel. Mm. I mean, like, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's, no. not like, it's not like, it's not like, you know, I, I've read it and hated it, but there's definite issues with it. Yeah. Um, so I think my overall rating for it will be about a three. I think that's what I gave it. Let me yeah. look. Um, My books. Because it was it was neither good nor bad. Um, there were elements in it, like the whole magic as a resource. Yeah, I gave that it could me. have been that could have been used and yeah. expanded on so much better. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. I hope they do that in the set. If she does that in the second book. But because it's not going to be released until August, I honestly don't know if I'm going to care enough at, in August when it's released. Yeah, to read it again. Yeah, I mean I might because it's I've got it on audio, uh, and it can, I can just kind of like put it on when I'm like going to sleep or, or whatever just to 
reimburse myself with the will, but I honestly don't know. I probably won't. <laughs> and I'm like you said, if it was sooner mm -hmm. to where I would be able to remember everything that was going on, yeah, then I probably would go ahead and do it. But with the fact that it's going to be August, I probably won't even remember it by August. True. Um, okay, so I didn't even write any questions down because I normally like kind of read the book and then like to write questions of like, you know, what, but this was just such a middle of the road mm -hmm. kind of thing. It didn't felt like there was any intrigue at any point. Yeah, I did not feel any political intrigue or any of that. Like, mm -hmm. and that's the thing with the council. I felt like she was trying to do that, mm -hmm. but she didn't succeed. No, it she just did didn't come succeed. across at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And again, this that could have been... Should have been a trilogy. It should Possibly. have been a trilogy. And she should have started with um, the murder of the mother. Yeah, and that and the level of political intrigue that went around um, Caleb getting locked up, um, Rhea running away, Ronak mm -hmm. becoming an idiot, you know, um, yeah. that all should have been it, it, but she started it in the middle of the story mm -hmm. and she shouldn't have done that. She should have uh, backed up. To be fair, some people, some, some, because this is a debut novel, um, mm -hmm. well, I think it is anyway. Um, yeah. if, if it's not, it definitely read like it. But uh, some people who are more wizened, uh, some authors can start a book in the middle of the story. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think this writer's got enough. Yeah. Under her belt yet to actually get there. I think yeah. it would have been, like you say, a much better and cohesive story if she had started from the murder of. The mother, yeah, because yeah. it, it felt like that felt kind of with the mother's dead body. Yeah, it felt really glossed over. Yeah, I mean, this book starts with the murder of her betrothed, mm. so you think, okay, yeah, fair enough, and then it goes from the murder of her betrothed to like you know because it's from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes from that, and then as you go through each chapter it's a different perspective from a different sibling you yeah. find out that one's run away <laughs> the other one's locked up the other one does shady freaking dealings you know it's like uh, what yeah and like i never i never get, uh, what am i trying to say i don't know I didn't get a sense of why should I care about the betrothed being dead. Mm -hmm. There was very much a tell, but not a lot of show. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. the impression that I had was um, like, oh, well, he's going to, the, the king's going to be mad that his son's dead, but oh, well, we're going to be fine. We're just going to marry Ronak off to some other girl and everything will be fine. Nobody yeah. will care. Yeah. Uh, I, at the beginning, I even uh, bought this on, I bought the book on Kindle because mm -hmm. just listening to it on audio and, and to be fair, I like to switch between audio and physical uh, or ebook, whatever. Um, most of the time but with this of how confusing the the beginning part of the story was, i felt like i was missing something or the audio book had been like you know skip chapters or done something uh because i just wasn't it felt like i was missing a lot yeah i so, feel like the author was in a hurry possibly yeah, she was in a hurry to get past things that she shouldn't have been in a hurry to get past. Yeah, I mean, when was this... Hang on, let me just try to think. When was this uh, originally released? God, my computer's going so slow. Uh, uh, 2022, it was new this year. Okay. Uh, okay. 4th of January. Yeah. Right. So, 
Um, yeah. Wait a minute. 4th of January 2022. So that was last year. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I said this year, didn't I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no. hang on a minute. Not we read more. this for December. and it's not, not more. Huh? Hi, yeah. Pat. Just How you doing? Oh, hey, Pat. We're staying hydrated over here. Oh. <sighs> Uh, did you manage to read the ivory key part or are you just coming down and say hello? <sighs> but yeah, this, it just, it really felt disconnected at the yeah. beginning. Uh, and I was confused. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, the, it, the writing style of the book, it wasn't bad, but I do think she needs uh, more work or, uh, like, you know, to do more work or ha even have a better editor. Yeah. But her writing mm -hmm. style is definitely good. Mm -hmm. And I will keep an eye on what she does in the future. Um, mm -hmm. I might not buy it, though. I might check it out from the library. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that's that was how much... I felt about it. Eh. Uh... Pat didn't read it. That's okay. <laughs> you didn't miss much. Nah. I mean, I think you tuned in just at the right time for us to randomly descend into madness and talk about random crap for half an hour. So right. if you want to, if you want to stick around and do that, um, but I guess I'll just tell you the the book that we're actually reading this month. Yes, I know it's I know it's we're in the middle of January, but that's because I got sick when we were supposed to have the original I'm live sorry. show. I'm sorry. I mean, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have wanted to see what was going on on camera. Let's put it that way. Uh, so yes, we're reading this for January. Hopefully, we will get a live show at the end of January. I honestly don't know if it's not the end of January. It will be like the first weekend in February. Hopefully, if we can't get it together and read it for then. Uh, <laughs> that's nice i'm here <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what we're glad you're here yes we are the fact that uh, you are here is the important thing yes so when women were dragons by kelly barnhill is what we're reading for january um i don't have a description in the info box just yet because i was late getting crap together because why it's still not asleep yet but Oh well. Uh, so links to follow in the information box down below eventually. I'm going to have uh, to buy that book because the library's got a six week hold on it. Damn. Yeah. Well, I luckily. Because <laughs> mm. I, I have two libraries. Me too. I've got, I've got um, Libby and uh, Hoopla. Well, you tell him spell dragons properly. Do -do -do -do. But yeah, <laughs> Do -do -do -do. come, come, watch us as we look at our phones. This is such an intriguing live show. Ooh. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hoopla doesn't have it, so I'll oh, have to. Dang it. I'll have to get it unless it's on Kindle Unlimited, which it uh. might be. Let's take a look. All right, you do that. Men and women were dragons. It is not on Kindle Unlimited, so I'm probably gonna have to buy it. Well, at least the book's pretty, even if it's yeah. so bonus. <laughs> uh, I managed to get this with uh, uh, my, one of my Christmas presents. My brother got me uh, Amazon gift card, so I have to say thank you. 
Nice. So I managed to get We Were Dragons and uh, the second book uh, okay. uh, in Amy McCall's series. So it was, uh, yeah, set in the, well, the original one was set in like early 90s and stuff. It's cool. I like it. Okay. That's important. It is. Uh, so yes. Um, all right, now we're going. Now, what we're going to talk about? It's been snowing here. Really? Yep. Yep. It's been. We had, it's been gone. We had flurries all day yesterday, but mm -hmm. it didn't stick. But then last night, apparently, it snowed enough and got cold enough that it stuck. Because when I got up this morning, there was snow on the uh, roof of the garage and my neighbor's house. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've just had ridiculous windy weather. Mm. You know, when you're like kind of, it's like we've got like double glazing and everything, uh, but we're like sat here and you can like, you know, the wind rattles the windows and you're like, Jesus. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just been ridiculously windy and rainy. Yeah. But, you know, that's the UK. <laughs> If Ugh. you like it grey, come here. <laughs> so that, that that's another reason why I know that Twilight is a bag of shit. Like, well, yeah, we live in Fox. It's grey. I'm like, no, 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 no. no England no, no. is grey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So what have you been reading? Uh, I've been kind of work burning my way through uh uh um uh historical fiction mystery series okay. uh at the minute by uh I think it's Diane Rayburn Wind sucking the living daylights houses and lashing with red yep it's pretty much how it's been, dude. I'll pass. Oh, man. <laughs> I went out, um, what's today? Saturday. So, yes, it was Friday. So, Thursday night, I went out to get something to eat. And on my way home, I want you to know the bottom fell out of the sky. It was raining <laughs> so hard. No, I couldn't see in front of my car. Damn. I was trying to drive. And it was so dark. Um, mm. yeah, you know, because, I mean, it was like 6 o'clock. You know, mm -hmm. so it's completely dark and it was raining so hard. I could not see. And it was, oh my God. It was so, by the time I got home, I was just like this. Just, oh, it was awful. So yeah, oh. I've been reading ooh, Victoria beginning Speedwell, A Curious Beginning. That's the first one. Deanna Rayburn. Okay. All right. I think I've heard about her. I think I've heard about her. So yeah, I've just finished... The six book. like a speed well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've just finished the sixth book. Uh, I have the seventh, and the next, her next one, the eighth, doesn't come out until March. So, but I'm gonna probably after I finish the seventh one, I'm probably gonna really start my read of the uh, last hours trilogy, mm -hmm. uh, because. The last one is that comes out at the end of January. Uh, so, yeah. <sighs> what have you been reading? I have been on a kick of YA Contemporary. Mm -hmm. I've read five damn books already this year. I read um, I read Holes by Louis Sachar, which is actually middle grade, mm -hmm. um, but I've never read it before. Yeah. Um, so I read that. I read um, Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Okay. I read um, Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson, which is about, yep. um, you familiar? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I've so read, I read it, that. yeah. And I read uh, All My Rage by Saba Tahir. Okay. Yeah, that, you said that mentioned that that one made you cry. Yeah, just all but made me cry at work. I was like, I was literally, I was like, I cannot cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't cry. So, uh, Yeah. Um, and then I also read the arc of the newest uh, Lady Harley book. Mm -hmm. 
um, which those are good. If you like the cozy historical mysteries, mm -hmm. those are really good. Because you were talking about it, I've put it on my list already. So it's on my TBR. Yeah, I've got you. it. I'm telling uh, are you. you get, are you getting Hellbent? Yes, because I really did enjoy Ninth House. So I will be getting Hellbent, but it's not at the top of my list just yet. So I need to reread Ninth House. I probably should have done it when Princess was doing her read of it, a reread of it, but I was busy doing other things. I have not read Ninth House yet. You should. It's good. I keep hearing about it. I keep hearing about it. I feel like it's it's not extremely polarizing, like you either love it or you hate it. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of those where it's like you either like it or you just kind of like, meh, it really ain't for me. So, but it is like kind of dark academia. Mm hmm excuse me, and it's set in London and there's a lot of like history stuff in there so I liked it it's good um, but yeah I read what? what's the other thing that she wrote? Uh, Lee Badugo, the um, Grisha trilogy right, 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 I did read that and I loved um, Six Crows and uh and See, I, I loved Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, but I couldn't be asked with the Grisha, tr Grisha trilogy. See, I liked it. I liked it. I didn't think it was, you know, grand literature or anything, but I mm -hmm. liked it. I thought it was good. Um, and I read that, but I read that before I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I read the Grisha I trilogy did. first. It's a biggish so. to just think meh. Huh? Okay, I don't understand that. Explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? But um, yeah, I loved, and I mean loved, Six of Crows and um, Crooked Kingdom. But with the Grisha trilogy, um, I think it was too hyped up when I originally originally read it mm. like every everyone and their grandmother was talking about it and they're like oh my god it's so good oh my god it was so good and then I read it and I was like it's just kind of okay <laughs> Woo. Um, yeah so uh oh the book no, oh, that. Yeah. House is biggest yeah. to just think meh okay yeah. I'm with you now um so yeah but I think the cast of characters in um, Crooked Kingdom were so much better than oh, yeah. the ones in the well in the Grisha trilogy. Mm -hmm. I think they were just so much better. I love the characters in that. <sighs> oh, I've got a stitch. Yeah. I've got a stitch, and I haven't even moved anywhere. That's not fair. Uh, that's not fair at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> My toes will do that. I'll like nothing's going on, and all of a sudden my toes will be like, eh. <laughs> "Can we not? What, please?" Oh, do you ever do you ever have that when like you're in bed and you all of a sudden your calf will cramp up for no reason? Oh God! You, Char you're like we call that a Charlie horse over here. Oh, okay. And yes. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. And then you have to sit and like hold on to your foot. Yeah. Or like, you have to stand like up and like lean on it. And it always happens when you've like just rolled over and got ridiculously comfy, and then you know, the same part of your body just goes, No, yep. you're like, No, it's yep. not fair. Not my life. And if you don't get a cramp, you get comfy, and then your bladder goes, Yo, I'm full. Yeah. And he empty in. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> Excuse me, like, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Like, that happened to me this morning. I, I had my alarm set for eight because I had to be on the clock at 10. Mm -hmm. So I had my alarm set for eight. And um, about six, my bladder was like, hey, it's time. Yeah. And I was like, man. See, it's like with that, I'll kind of have, I won't like wake up instantaneously. It's like whatever dream I'll, I'm having. I'll dream that I'm desperately needing to go to the toilet. I do that too. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then it's like, whether I'm in the, in the dream or whatever, and I go to the toilet 
and it's like I'll start to feel that release and I'm like and then I then I'll wake up like you got a picture there. <laughs> I was like ah. <laughs> Oh, the human body is fun. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, fuck everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the human body is so interesting and so just, like, crazy, man. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. How's your January been? How's, how's, how's 2023 shaping so up for far, you? So far, I can't complain about anything, you know. I'm mm. doing all right. You know, I'm money's a little tight, but yeah. what are you gonna do, right? That's that's, <laughs> that's everybody. Just, yeah, yeah as, that's well. everybody. So yeah, um, I have a family member who mm-hmm. was trying to help me out with finances. Mm-hmm. Only the problem is he's in crypto. Okay, and I'm like, oh yeah. And he's all like, no, I promise you'll make all of this money, blah, 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 blah. You just do what I do and you'll make all of this money on crypto. And I'm like, eh. So he was if like, I don't oh. understand it. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Well, he's all like, I'll bankroll your first foray. And and you'll see, and you'll you'll see, and we'll make all this money, and then you can go from there with it, you know, on your own. And I'm like, mm-hmm. let me think about it. And this was the week after Christmas. So okay. right between Christmas and New Year's. And I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it. And sure enough, as I'm thinking about it, the crypto exchange that he uses went poof. Yikes. Yup. Yeah. So if I don't understand it, I ain't doing it. Yeah. Just- Crypto's a scam. Uh, well to be fair any money making thing is it, you it's just yeah. no no jen no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no 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 i mean it's just like you know gambling really and i don't like to gamble no i do no. not like to gamble my mother would sit and play slot machines and my dad would play video poker I don't gamble. The, the only don't thing, gamble. the only thing that I play in the arcades, um, uh, kind of like over here, the like two pence, uh, like two p machines, mm. uh, where you're like, you know, you put two p and it's like, and it's like a slider. I'm sure you've oh yeah, in the yeah, States, yeah. But, um, yeah, but but you know, you do quarters. Yeah, but it's like we'll do uh, like when we go to like the beach or whatever. They'll have the arcades. They'll have all like you know the fruit machines and you know stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I only kind of like do the two P kind of things because it's like you know, yeah. For for a pound, if there's quite a few two Ps in a pound, and if you win something, yay! It's probably going to get thrown in the trash as soon as you get home. But you know, it's something to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I would rather play like pinball or like an arcade game or something. Yes, you know, I than think- I would to play you know a slot machine. And I'm I'm sick of getting all these adverts for games on my phone where you're like you you win money and this that other. I'm like no, you won't. No, don't. And all they don't these keep like the lights know, on by you winning. No, and these fake adverts where it's just like you know. Well, I've got like you know, um, <laughs> if I download this game, I get the you know this per- this like uh, character to do things and like you know they do that they help me out in the game. And I've spent money on the game. It's like, no, you've downloaded the wrong game. You need to download this game. Like, no, shut up. <sighs> just stop advertising. Yeah. Because you're just making me angry. I worked <laughs> with a woman when I was working my overnight job. <clears throat> I worked with a woman who played video poker on her phone. Mm-hmm. And, um, yes. She played it so much that the cards were literally burned into her screen. That's how much she played poker on her phone. Wow. Yeah. See, yes, those things are very addictive and dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's very easy to fall into a rabbit hole. Yep. Uh, But then it's like, 
and they market it to the the to people that don't have enough money to be doing this kind of thing either. Mm. It's like you know, the, it's like well, it's it all like a lottery. Yeah, but it's like over. Well, I don't know if you get the same kind of adverts, but um, over here it's like you know, bingo, bingo. Uh, this is like you know, it's the old ladies' game over here. So, and it's like they're they're living off a freaking pension. They've got a fixed income. Yeah. You know, they can't go out and make any more freaking money. But yet, you know, all of it. Yep. Ugh, it's horrible. Um, with the cost of living crisis that we're in and money it's like everything is getting everything in the shop is getting ridiculously pricey and Mm -hmm. we're not getting paid anymore right there's going to be riots if they don't do something Mm -hmm. it's absolutely insane and it's like I I said to Chris I was like I swear they've put the the prices up for Christmas this year just so they can lower it and say it's a January sale. Uh, they do that every year anyway. It, yeah, they but do I don't know why. Year. I think I think it's because we're like you know living on less money uh, now. But it's like Christmas seemed ridiculously expensive this year. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Like uh, we it's like Chris, I got Chris a present and he got me a present, and then we just bought it for the kids, mm-hmm. and it was expensive. Yeah, expensive. yeah. I have gotten to where I started doing my Christmas shopping in like April, mm-hmm. so I can buy a few things here and a few things there, and then by the time December gets here, I'm done shopping, and I'm not broke. See, I always say i'm gonna do that i always want to be able to do that but no do it do it See, uh, it's a lot harder for with wyatt because i don't it's like i don't know what he'll be into by the time christmas will roll around yeah um and with bram kind of like you know growing like a weed yeah, trying to like, if I buy him any cool T-shirts or whatever, yeah. it's like by the time Christmas rocks up, it's like yeah. this don't fit me no more. Uh, well, have you seen the padlocks on the butter? Yes. Wow. Yes. They've they've been putting uh, butter in like you know clear like cases. Wow. With like massive locks on them because the price is ridiculously shot up, so it's become wow. like a, a massive thing for shoplifters to come into the shop and steal butter. Um, I mean, to be fair, we, we, when I was uh working at Iceland, which is a shop in the UK, mm-hmm. um, uh, we used to like kind of do like fro- it's frozen food mostly, um. But we had this one uh, shoplifter that had come in and they'd put, like, legs of lamb down their trousers, um, gammon joints, like, a ham, everything. Uh, oh, my God, the amount of stuff this person pulled out of their trousers was freaking ridiculous. And I'm like, Why? And obviously we had to like wait for like the police to turn up and we had to like, you know, keep them in the thing. But it was just nuts. And that yeah. obviously happens around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And with the with things going up. And it's like because butter's so small and compact, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, easy to kind of just put it in your pocket. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it is insane. Yeah, eggs have gone through the roof over here. Really? Yep. Yep, eggs have gone through it through the roof. Yeah, they do. So people like say, "Oh, can you go get go get us like you know so many things of butter?" Uh, you know, people will put in that order to the person who goes to steal the things. I mean. You know, everyone's got to make the money somehow. Right. Mm. 
It's, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Somebody's got to do something because it's just, it's gotten ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's gotten ridiculous. And like I said, they're going to end up with food riots if they don't do something. Yeah. And then there's the whole, like, you know, healthy initiative and, like, you know, eat healthy, do this. And it's just like, okay, stop making freaking fast food the cheapest and easiest option then. Right. Make vegetables where we can afford to eat them. Mm hmm Yeah. <sighs> oh. I don't know. I swear they should just put women in charge. Right? Be... <laughs> Everything would be fixed. I mean... I think I read a story a while ago, but it's like this. People were, it was in France, uh, but they were talking about putting the price of like baguettes up because I think baguettes as a standard were mm -hmm. so much, so many euros or whatever, or francs at the time. Um, and their parliament was on about like put up in the prices, and the French people freaking rioted because oh, yeah. they were like, that you, 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 you're not putting the price of our baguettes up. And it was just like, yeah. It doesn't take much to get the French to riot, to be fair. Yeah. I don't think the, the UK will never uh, riot over. I mean, we'll queue. <laughs> if we had to <laughs> queue for a riot, we'd queue. We'd do, we wouldn't know how to do a riot when we got there, but we'd queue for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just the, the, it, it's what we do. We queue and we complain about that, queue. right? <laughs> yeah, we do. We do a lot of complaining as well, and wandering around with guns. Uh, don't get me started on your gun thing. Mm -mm, don't get me started. If is that like if you take the guns away, people won't get shot. Funny how that works out. I know. It's crazy. Go figure. Uh, Chris was telling me this story um, at like, uh, uh, some place in America. Um, they've actually had the whole thing of, uh, you know, the whole the right to bear arms. It's like the, the council of kind of stopped uh, female officers Um actually being able to wear like tank tops or something like that because they d actually don't want to be seen wearing bare they don't want bare arms and it's like what wrong kind of bare arms but that's what they've done wow i'm like i'm like that can't be true seriously and he's like nope it is <sighs> you americans be crazy yeah, yeah, we're not quite right in the head. <laughs> I will admit, we are not right in the head. To be fair, the UK is just as bad. <laughs> but I, I feel like it, it's, it feels like the blind leading the blind and the rich just getting richer. That's exactly what it is. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, obviously Pat with the Mackey D's Mackey D's has gone up, fish and chips have gone up you have to have a 12 inch pizza go £5 and it's gone from gone up to £18 for the same size wow Yeah. oh uh, Chris uh, when uh, we went because Wyatt's having a thing where he's like only eating chicken nuggets and veggie nuggets and things at the minute um so we went to Farm Foods, which is like another frozen food place. Um, and it went from like 15 like di turkey dinosaurs or whatever in a bag for so many pounds. Uh, they've reduced the amount of things in it and the price has gone up. Yep. <laughs> it's like, That's how they oh, do. That's how okay. they do. Not only did the price go up, but you're getting less for it. Yes. Yep, you're getting less for it. I have a box um, for Ritz crackers. Mm -hmm. They used to come in a, in um, a square box mm -hmm. um, instead of being the long box that they come in now. Okay, they used to come in a square box, and we we still have the square boxes, but okay. 
They're um, only about that big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got, um, when I was a teenager, um, we got a tin box, mm -hmm. um, as a, like, it was like some, some kind of a promo or something that they did 50th anniversary or some kind of shit like that. And when we were getting, uh, when we were getting crackers, we'd take them out of the paper box and put them in the tin box. Mm -hmm. Keep, they keep fresh longer. And at the time, the tin box, the, the the sleeve of crackers reached the top of the tin box. Mm -hmm. The sleeve of crackers no longer reaches the top of the tin box mm -hmm. and the price has gone up. Yeah. See, I think we have the same thing. Aldi do a nice range of nuggets and etc. See, Aldi are okay, but we have a little, little's closest to us. We have a little just down the road. So uh, we have a little farm foods and a B and M kind of on a retail park just down the road so that's where we go um but yeah um with we have the whole thing with uh quality streets and uh stuff which is like chocolates at christmas mm -hmm. um they used to go they used to be in a tin uh obviously uh, they used to be in a tin and they it was a very tall tin mm -hmm. um but they've sw since switched it to plastic and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller uh, every year. Yep. And the price is just going up and up and up. And I was like, what's going on here? It's crazy. Yep. What is going on with my... <sighs> yep. Oh, I'm saying crisps. Crisps are like that. More air in the crisp bag, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the chip bag. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, my God. How do you silence a Discord? Oh, I, you have to click, you have to right click on it and hit mute. Uh, which one is it that's doing You right click the, the, the icon mm -hmm. um, and then you go to mute server and you can give it a time that you want to mute the server for. 15 minutes, one hour, three hours, eight hours, 24 hours, or, right. or until I turn it back on. Thank you. You're welcome. Just, just mute it for 24 there we go uh yeah uh yeah but to, uh, to be fair you guys have massive like chip bags over there we have like tiny like 25 gram bags of of chips crisps your guy your your american ones are huge bags it seems there's still more air than crisp mm, fair yeah <laughs> yep definitely yep oh. everything sucks the end <laughs> welcome to our live show where all we do is complain <laughs> we talk about a book for a little while and then we complain sometimes <laughs> we complain about the book too <laughs> right we've done that today oh. we have done that today not as much as we have done in the past. Uh, yeah, walkers do big bags, but a lot of there. Yeah, it's a share bag, and you're like, yeah, you get mass you know, this massive bag, and it's a share bag, and you think, yeah, I get that, and we'll all munch on this while we're watching this movie. You open the bag, and you're like, ooh, yay, five chips each. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I can't get over the water in your water jug because it looks like fruit punch. It is dilute juice. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, right, it's a color changing it thing anyway, so it's not like... Right. So it is, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I can see it. That's the actual like color of it, kind of like okay. a reddish kind of All color. Because right. I was thinking... Um, I was thinking that you had shown it the other day with just plain water in it and it looked mm -hmm. like fruit punch. And I was like, couldn't do it. It would mess yeah. with my brain too much. Mm. I'm glad you're not talking about Harry. I'm sick of it. Well, now that you've brought it up, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Now you've brought it up. We're going to talk about it. Do you know what? I'm going to talk right. about it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I <laughs> genuinely don't care about him. Oh look! Here is my here is my field. 
Yes, you in will which notice I grow my talks that I give about you, Harry. You will notice that it is barren. <sighs> yeah. Z- zero fucks given. Um, yeah, although I, no I, did, to read that book. I did see something funny in the bookshop. Someone had... Uh... No, please, no. <laughs> oh, is that the one where they had, they had interspersed copies of Spare with copies of uh, How to Kill, how to your kill family? You Family? Yes. I saw that. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, that is a genius. I like it. Genius. Yeah, um, I genuinely like the number of fucks I give about Harry Windsor, whatever the fuck his name is. Genuinely, like, there are not any. No, there just are I mean, not any. No, I mean, the... <laughs> Him, to go back to like the whole beginning of it and whatever else, I do. I <laughs> saw that. Too. Yeah. Um, I do think the UK press did Meghan Markle dirty, but if you're going to marry into freaking royalty, you've got to have a fucking thick skin. You've got, you know, it's that's just what it is. Um, and. <sighs> That's pretty much what I've got to say on that. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Wait, it's let like me the, I'm the... Get real deep and see where I give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole, like, oh, you know, Netflix, the Netflix series that oh, everyone's been geez. banging on about. It's just like, I haven't watched it. I've got no desire to watch it. But then I've seen people like, Oop. Medication time. Um, medicate. 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 <laughs> Shame about Lisa Marie. What did she even do? We know what she died of. Uh, I think they ruled it as like a heart attack. No, Pat, you haven't changed the topic. Still going to talk about it. <laughs> because I'd not finished my alarm, cut me off. Um, but yeah, how they've like come out with this series. They, they've come out with a series on Netflix and they've been showing things and then people have come out and said like they've used footage that's mm-hmm. not even their footage and things like that. And I was just like, what? Uh, oh, man cardiac attack yeah yeah, heart attack uh when i read that in the little box i thought it said cadillac attack and i was like okay (laughs) she was attacked by cadillac i love my dyslexia sometimes it's just like what that's uh yeah um I think I read a tweet by Bailey Sarian and she'd like said uh, Morphe's going out of business or whatever else. And I read Morphine and I was like, whoa. (laughs) And then I actually like, you know, reread it and I was like, oh, okay. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) But I actually said, I love my dyslexia. It said, my brain went, said Morphine. I'd be actually shocked if Morphine were going out of business. Right. <laughs> One of her dad's cars came for her. Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. That's <laughs> robot cars. My Damn. mom and I went to Graceland one time and saw it. And it was like, okay. It was it's really interesting actually because they have the house decorated, like each room is decorated the way it would have looked during a particular era of the house. So like one room you go in and you go into the front room, for example. So it's not decorated like he decorated. Yeah, it just it each each like when you go into the living room, for example, it's done up in one style that the house would have at one point would have been in. Okay. And then when you go into like the game room, it's done up in like a very 70s style that it would have been at a certain time you know, in in his residence. And then the jungle room is there, you know, where you can see it, how that would have been, you know, and that kind of thing. So it's done, it's, it's set up in different eras. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and you only get to go through the downstairs. You don't get to go upstairs because the, the upstairs is still actively, they stay there sometimes. Okay. Um, so, and my mom said she was really kind of disappointed in it because she was expecting this huge lavish mansion. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, mom, think about it for the fifties. That was a huge lavish mansion. Yeah. You know, it really was. It would have been a massive thing for the 50s. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it would have can been hear, very, very can, lavish. Can you hear Wyatt in the other room coming through? <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, yeah, he's still awake. He's fighting it. It's somewhat fierce. Yeah, it's from that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's all it's all very much, you know, throwbacks, what have you. Um, See, to, I thought it was, I thought, I thought they would have like, you know, left it as the original day called that it was when he died mm -mm. and then just have tributes to uh, how he, how he was through the time periods. Mm -mm. I didn't know that it was like, you know, I thought that's, to be honest, that's how I thought he'd actually decorated his house, like having certain rooms and certain themes. Mm -mm. But, no, it would have been just like at one point the house, the whole house would have been in this theme. And then mm -hmm. at one point the whole house would have been in this theme. Okay. And so each room has a different theme that the whole house would have been in at one point. I think the only thing that I know of Graceland is that they, there's a TV room. Or there was at one point. A TV room? Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of thing a lot of American houses have, so. Well, yeah, but I think it was like, you know, more than the average i mean normally we, you have like a tv in a room um, oh okay oh i see what you're saying i'm trying to remember if there was i mean i've never been at graceland so i don't yeah. know i mean i don't remember now it's been it's been like 10 or 12 years mm -hmm. since we went but um let's see yeah i don't remember now I don't remember. I remember the living room going into the living room and how fancy it was. Uh, the the like parlor type room, whatever. I remember oh, that. Yeah. Room. And I remember the kitchen because it was very very nineteen seventies with like the um, the appliances were all done up in harvest gold and they were the original appliances. Oh my and god, the, this, sorry, this TV room, I've just googled it, in Graceland TV room, in the basement there is an enormous uh, 28 by 17 uh, TV room featuring three televisions. Okay, well that would have been a big deal back then. <laughs> yeah, so I always yeah. really enjoyed I watching we all the movie the networks. Basement. Yeah, so if you went in the basement, you would have seen the TV room. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we went in the basement. You're thinking Bunny Mansion. Bunny no. Mansion. Oh. Uh, to be fair, I'd like to see the Bunny Mansion. I wouldn't like to. I'm not fussed about seeing all the. I'd like to see the Playboy Mansion, but yeah, yeah, just because just the sheer size of it. Mm. Like I'm not. I'm not fussed about seeing like the Playboy bunnies or anything like that. Mm. But just just to walk around something that freaking grand that yeah. it's not. The, and it's not a castle. I mean, I've been. I'm English. We have castles here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> castle. I've been. I've been to several castles in several countries over here. I've been to a castle in Scotland. I've been to a castle in Wales. Uh, I've been to a castle in the UK area. Um, but yeah, the, I think castles aren't as big as like you know stately homes stately homes feel mm -hmm. much grander and larger to me than castles do yeah which is just weird but hey ho uh have you been to buckingham palace no i have not and i really don't care <laughs> um uh, it, it, now the queen has passed I couldn't give two fucks about the royal family honestly uh, Charles being king it just it don't it don't sit right with me I just don't like it <laughs> 
So, no, I just can't be asked. I think with the Queen, uh, she's al- she's always been there since I was a child, and it's like there's an element of kind of like loyalty there because when, w- when you were younger, like, you know, you'd be in the Girl Scouts or the Brownies or Girl Guides or whatever, and you'd have to sing God Save the Queen like every time. And when you ever put on shows, you'd sing God Save the Queen. Um, but yeah. And just watching the series The Crown, even though that is quite fictionalised, it's. <laughs> She's had it hard, <laughs> to be fair, uh, whether you've watched it or not. But yeah, I can't. Charles is just a wet blanket, in my opinion. He's not very interesting. No. He's not very interesting. And like, the, the most interesting thing he's done is, like, you know... Cheat on his wife. Yeah. And the whole, you know, I want to be in your pants. Uh, like, you know, I wish uh, yeah, I wish I was a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Mm. The Vatican is the most spectacular place I've been from top to bottom, inside out. St. Paul's so nice. I've seen I've seen the Vatican parts of the Vatican in movies. Uh, it does look good, but yeah, it's a place I'd like to go visit. But I've never been out of the U.S. I've been to Lanzarote, which is like Canary Islands, and I've mm. been to Spain. Uh, been through France. I've been, uh, we we stopped in France to pee, and <laughs> that was interesting because um, <laughs> it was like a old old world kind of uh, rest stop type thing. But mm. so they they didn't actually have toilets. They can they have like standing holes. It's just really weird. Uh, <laughs> so it's like there's like grooves to like put your feet on, and you, there's a hole, and you just kind of like stand and squat and do your business. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um. Yeah. No. It was a very weird port loo. Let's put it that way. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't stay in France. <laughs> no doubt. <Ugh. laughs> Demons and angels. <laughs> yeah. I was actually thinking more of Euro trip, but yeah. Uh, um, which, if you haven't seen that movie, you really should. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah. So, where would you like to go if you were to leave the US? I would be, I would go everywhere. Honestly, if I had the money, I would travel the entire world. Mm -hmm. I would do Europe. I would do Asia. I would do Africa. I would do just everywhere I could possibly go. Mm -hmm. I I couldn't, I couldn't pick one place. Yeah. I mean, if I had, if I had the money and my body was willing. (laughs) Right. Yeah. It's like, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and if you're over that way, you might as well go to China. <laughs> you know, you might as right. well do the whole thing. <laughs> right. Um, I've always wanted to, like, you know, I'd, li- I'd, like, I'd like to do a road trip across America. You know, and, you know, go to Salem and see all random, you know, biggest ball of twine. Biggest knitting yeah. needles, you know, do all that, yeah. you know, proper, proper, like you know, kitschy stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, shush. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, if, if I if my body could handle it, I'd like to like do Africa as well. I mean, yeah. I don't do I don't do good in heat. I'm not built. I'm either. not built. I'm not built for heat. Uh, it's like I'd be, I'd be better off in like you know uh, Norway, Sweden. Yeah, 
get I'd, I'd want to go I'd want to go see the Northern Lights. My uh, friend, um, well, I said my friend Christine just went and saw the Northern Lights. Um, when she and Caleb went on their honeymoon, they went to Alaska mm. and they saw the Northern Lights while they were there. Oh, jealous. I'd love, I'd love to see it in person. It just looks, it looks so cool. Yep. Um, where would you go, Pat, if you could go anywhere? If you're still here, that is. Are you still here? Are you still off land? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, nope, she's left. That's it. She's Come disowned on. us. That's it. Game over. <laughs> well, we have been chatting for, you know, an hour and 15 minutes thereabouts. No, uh, an hour and 10 minutes. Hour I'm looking 10. at the time and, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <sighs> I guess I'll try and get my baby to go to sleep because he's still not asleep yet. Mm. So, yes, we're reading this in January. And like I said, we will try and get a... Let me see. Let me bring up my calendar. Asia and Japan, she says. Or they oh, say. Yeah. Yeah, are you a yeah. they or a she? I cannot remember. I am the world's worst about pronouns. I, I should know better. Of all people, I should know better. Oh, I suck at pronouns as well. I'm so bad at it. Um, but like, like with anything, it's like with pronouns. It's like I'm like when I said she for you, and then Princess messages me. It's just like no, Jen goes by they. And I was like, shit! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. And y'all just like, yeah, okay, but. Um, some people, uh, and rightly so, some people are very protective of their pronouns, mm -hmm. and like I do, I do get it. Um, but please understand, it's like a learning curve and mm -hmm. new to me. So, oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. I, I, I don't mean to offend. Yeah. Okay, Patsushi. God, I couldn't remember. I said she, and then I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm here just slow. My fingers are playing me. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about your fing fingies. Um, but yeah, I, it's like I never intend to offend anyone ever. If I do, just let me know. And if I, do, I'm human, I'm gonna fuck up. I sorry. Uh, um, that's how it is. So I don't. Calendar. I don't get offended when people misgender me, largely because mm -hmm. I present as female. Therefore, you know, it's to be expected that somebody's going to call me she. It's like it's whatever. It's not a big deal. I've been a she mm -hmm. most of my life. I only just recently started coming out as a they, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, it's mm -hmm. learning for all of us. Very true. Yep. Um, see, I have, a, I have a question on that. I'll just put this down right now. Um, is that because you've explored your sexuality or like you know because you said that you're ace it's like have you always known that you're ace or no I always just thought that I had like a low sex drive or whatever I mm -hmm. you when you don't know ace exists you just think there's mm -hmm. something wrong with you you know um, because I didn't know that ACE was a thing until probably mm. the last four or five years. Yeah. I didn't even know asexuality was a thing. And mm. so I just always thought there was something wrong with me, you know? Yeah. And then when I discovered that asexuality was a thing and I was like, okay, that makes sense. You don't mind me asking this question? No, um, not at all. Oh, okay. Not at all. So, okay. So, like I said, I don't want to offend anyone. Yeah, no, you know, totally some people fine. talking totally about. I don't, mind, I don't mind answering questions. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I can I can imagine you all you constantly. Oh well. To be fair, I think. Most most of us think that there's something wrong with us, but if we don't, if we're not, in the norm, yeah, as it were. So. Yeah, 
I get that. Um, I mean, I've said that I've never actually been in a relationship with a woman. Mm. Um, but I've always found women attractive. And, you know, I, say, I would say that I am bi or bi curious. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like I've kissed women, <laughs> but I've never actually been in a relationship with a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. I think bi was so much more accepting, uh, was more accepted. And especially when I was younger, Mm-hmm. Um, being, I mean, you know, being bi or lesbian because lesbianism was so fetish, fetishized by mm-hmm. men. It was, you know, okay to be, you know, to like women or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, unless, you know, they made a pass at you and you were like, yeah, I'm not interested. And then they'd turn around and go, oh, you're a dyke. Uh, yeah. It's just it's like, no, I'm just not interested. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but it wasn't accepted over here to be a gay man at all. Oh, no. I mean, so... But, yeah. Learning about sexualities and different sexualities is it, interesting to me. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Gender studies. So, <laughs> so is that why uh, so when you like you know research being ace and whatever is that when you decided to go by they them or no that came later okay um ouch sorry um I slide in this chair my butt slides yeah I've got a special cushion <laughs> <laughs> um no, I didn't I didn't really realize that I was non-binary until probably and here again, I didn't know it was a thing. Mhm. You know, I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know I didn't know you could be non-binary. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. You know, and somebody you know, I got to talking with some friends that are trans. Mm-hmm. And it was like you can do that. it's always good when you can put a name really you could do that yeah um yeah i mean it's like it blows my mind how far we've come Mm -hmm. so far with like you know understanding and doing things um have you read ace by angela chen i haven't i think i have it but I have because I think I got it for Jess Owens's um, book club. Um, let me look. I think I have it. Sorry, I'll keep that up if anyone wants to. I don't think anyone else is actually here chatting with us, but or watching. But yeah, yeah, I do. I have it. Um, but I haven't read it yet. I haven't read it. Um, but yeah, with the like, there's asexual, demisexual. Um, there's so much mm-hmm. more than because it was either, you know, when I grew up, it was either straight, straight or gay. Yes, and then then later it was both. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was first coming out, um, I didn't even know bisexual was a thing. Um, mm-hmm. If somebody if somebody was gay. You know, they were just gay. And then I knew a woman who um, had been gay and then went straight. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know bisexuality was a thing. Mm-hmm. Nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said, hey, by the way, you can do both of these things. Mm-hmm. You know, and so, um, yeah, it, it, it's been, it's been a journey of exploration mm-hmm. and I think that there's a lot of self-discovery as well mm-hmm. yeah so the ace is a really really explanatory and interesting read yeah I need to read it I think what is it's only like a hundred and something pages 
I was just looking at it on Kindle. Is it on Kindle Unlimited? Uh, I don't think so. It's only 189 pages. Mm. Let me see. Oh, excuse me. Had a cottage pie for dinner. Or like our version of a cottage pie, which is like, you know, how my it dad used not, to It's it. $11. Okay. See how much it is in the UK. Yeah. How much is that in real money? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's going to be so weird. Well, I, I'm glad that I don't technically use like folding money so much anymore. Everything's done with like, my bank card and things. Mm -hmm. But when we start getting money with King Charles's face on it, I mean. Mm -mm. Now, here's a question for you. Does the money with the Queen's face on it, is that still good or do you have to trade it in? Uh. The, I think there might be like a cut off point to like, you know, put it into the bank. Mm. Uh, because I think it, it, after a certain time, it won't be classed as legal tender. So you've mm. got to actually go to the bank and they'll give you new bank notes. Uh, so looking for Ace. Oh, good point, Pat. Let's see if Libby has it. My library has it, but you have to put a, it's a, got about a two week wait on it. Okay. What the hell? It won't show me the price of the Kindle. <laughs> uh, Shop all formats, no price. Uh, I, I, I will find it and I will read it. <laughs> so, I know. I now what? I now what? No, she, I think she means she knows. Okay. That it's going to be weird to have money with Charles on it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, how are his ears going to fit on? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Anyway. So. Yes. I was looking at calendar. So. We don't know when the live show for this will be. Yet. But calendar. We'll so. It. it. So. The next kind of like Saturday things we've got like next week next week which is the twenty first or the week after that which is the twenty eighth. Um, oh, it needs to be at least the twenty eighth because I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. On, it's not even the next book on my list. I'm reading yeah. Grimrose Girls next. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just opened the pages and got a waft of new book smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good stench. Um, so yeah, uh, if we don't do it by the 28th, the next Saturday, so like the first Saturday in, Fe in February is the 4th. Okay. So I think, I think the 4th is a good time to do it. Okay. Uh, if you want, if you want to try and, and say, we'll kind of like lock that in. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> lock that in. Because we all know life likes to throw us a freaking curveball every oh, yeah. now and again. Um, oh, yeah. So that would be the live show for that. It's still good to uh, till they make his money and stamps too. They may start in the summer after his crowning. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Everything's just fucked up. I just don't like anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it all. Yes, fuck, fuck it, it all. all. It's all it's all too weird for me. I don't like it. I will be hiding in my hole. Send me food and books. Oh, Pat, I didn't know your birthday was coming up too. Happy birthday. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yep, my birthday is Friday. Birthday. Well, it's I my mom. I to take the day off work. Nice. 
it's my mum and my brother's birthday on the 16th so on monday can you hear wyatt mm, i heard yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah he's still awake at ne- nearly half 10 so i think i'm gonna have to go and you know <sighs> excuse me chloroform <laughs> if if only if only so are you are you guys doing any spe- anything special for your birthdays i'm just taking you just, the day off are you you having a u day yeah basically nice i gotta go to the doctor for my six month checkup that morning so i was gonna take the morning off and then mm-hmm. when i was like oh it's my birthday i'm taking the whole day <laughs> do it <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get some breakfast out and then i'll probably come home and go back to bed that sounds like an excellent day i heard bless it <laughs> yeah no no bless no yes. you should be asleep <laughs> uh catch it tomorrow on jen's yes yeah. Yep. Yes. So wrapping it up. So we'll be reading this. Hopefully that we'll manage to get the live show for the fourth of February. Yep. Um nope, just another day. Mm. Mm. Well, Pat, I hope you'll be able to read with us this month. Mm-hmm. So yes, please join in. The book is very pretty. Yes, and obviously. It is. It's and obviously it's really interesting. Yes, it does. Uh, I'll just read you the blurb. Women take flight. Uh, ferociously imagined. Well, it's not the blurb, but yeah. Incandescent with feeling. This book is urgent and is urgent and necessary and exhilarating as ride on on a dragonback. And that's a by Lev Grossman. But uh, so, Wisconsin, 1955. In a world where girls and women are taught to be quiet, the dragon inside them are about to be set free, and nothing will ever be the same again. When hundreds of thousands of ordinary women sprout wings, scales, and talons, and take to the skies in a blaze of fire and fury. Eight-year-old Alex Green is one of those left behind, and no one will talk about what happened. Best forgotten, everyone says. But Alex can't forget, nor does she want to. As Alex grows up into as grow, grows into a fiercely independent teenager, she must face the consequences of the mass, mass dragoning, a society closing in on itself, a mother more protective than ever, and watching her beloved cousin Patrice become dangerously obsessed with the forbidden. Dun, dun, dun. So... Yes, it sounds very interesting. Yes, indeed. So I am going to go and try and get a child to go to sleep. It's not going to happen. But yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. What time is it? It's 4.30. Net first. It's half ten. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out and chatting. And we'll see you tomorrow in Gen Sprints. Yep. See you in the morning. Bright well, and early. It won't be the morning for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the afternoon. Okay, so thanks for coming. Bye, everybody. Bye.